In this video, we're discussing urban emergency communications. Hello, my name is John W7DBO, and this is the Field Radio Channel. Thank you for clicking and tuning in. And in this video, we're continuing the discussion of communications and emergency communications. Prior, we were talking backcountry communications, and I'll link it up here above if you haven't seen that video yet. But in that video, we talked about having a primary, secondary, and emergency form of communication. So three forms of communication wherever you go in the backcountry. Well, what do you do when you go to work for the day? What do you do when you're traveling? Like for now, I'm in Texas this week on work travel. So what did I take with me on the trip? Because I didn't check bags. Uh, so I have a very small carry-on. What did I decide to take that would add value while I was traveling? And so let's break down what this is. First of all, primary form of communication is the cell phone. So this is what I'm going to use to primarily communicate with. And then I have my secondary and emergency form of communications. And I have that inside this little bag. And so let's break down the contents of this bag. So my primary form of communication is uh, my cell phone. So what do we do to keep the cell phone running? Uh, we have a little power supply. Now I normally carry a power supply with me uh, wherever I go with my cell phone, but this is kind of a dedicated one that stays in this. So this is a little tiny uh, Jackery. And the reason why I like this is because it just actually fits on the side. And so it's not too bulky and doesn't take up too much room. And so I have this with my associated charge cable uh, for my phone. Now, my secondary form of communication is the Garmin inReach. So don't think of this as being just a backcountry device. This is a great emergency communication device. You're in an urban environment. I'm here in Texas. Uh, you know, they get, text, they get hurricanes, they get tornadoes, they get electrical grid failures. Uh, this is also a very good urban device to be able to send and receive messages anytime the cell grid network gets overloaded and cell phones go down. So I carry this wherever we go, whether it's in the backcountry or just to work. Okay, and then the third device is, of course, my radio. Now this is the exact same radio and in reach that I have while backpacking. So I just remove them from these two bags and take them to my backcountry. So there's my emergency form of communication. And then inside the little pouch, uh, we always carry charge cables. Uh, so I have my radio charge cable, I have my cell phone charge cable, and then I also have a very small charge cable uh, that fits the Garmin. So unfortunately, three devices all using uh, different connectors. And then for my radio, I have my signal stick antenna because you can do things like this and not break your antenna. So all of this fits nice and portable inside uh, this bag that drops down in my laptop bag or while I'm traveling drops down in my carry-on bag. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, comment below on uh, how ideas you have that you might like to share about what you do for EDC. And then also comment below on the kind of videos that you would like to see produced on this channel going forward. As always, my name is John W7DBO with the Field Radio Channel. Until next time, get outdoors and get on the air.